The opioid abuse continues to be a major issue around the country, and if someone overdoses, you may only have minutes to react. With that in mind, Wayne State University is taking action to help save lives on campus. We're zooming in on Wayne State. That's along Woodward between Warren and I-94 in Detroit, and that's where we find CBS News Detroit's Ray Strickland. He joins us live tonight with the life-saving details. Ray? Well, Jeff, these vending machines are pretty easy to navigate. All you have to do is enter an item number. I'm going to enter 34. And then easy enough, a package of Narcan will come out. It contains two doses. And one of, one of the more important things about this vending machine is that the Narcan is free. Anyone can come in and get one. No judgment. The goal here is to simply save lives. You can't put a dollar amount on a life. And at Wayne State University, that couldn't be more true. The opioid epidemic, is, uh, epidemic continues to, uh, to wreak havoc on our communities. And Matt Costello is the program manager of Wayne State Center for Behavioral Health and Justice in the School of Social Work. He's helping lead a program that's tackling the opioid epidemic head on, placing dozens of free Narcan vending machines in areas throughout Michigan, including here at Wayne State's undergraduate library. We wanted an area that had as much availability to the public as possible. So a facility that might be only open a couple days a week for four or five hours, while might have high need, might not have the reach that we're looking for. The idea isn't new. Costello says it was inspired by successful programs out of the Los Angeles and Cook County jails. Thanks to a grant from the state health department, the School of Social Work was able to create a program of their own. To date, Costello says more than 15 vending machines have been distributed in Michigan. He's hoping for 20 more this year. People who take a Narcan kit are not using it for themselves. They're getting it for somebody who they care about or who they know. What do you say to people who would suggest that these vending machines are only enabling people to use drugs, to use heroin and, and, and fentanyl? Why do we save anybody? Because people are worth saving. It is certainly my hope and I think the center's hope that what we do is, is when a person administers or is administered an Narcan, that they then are connected with treatment. And Costello mentioned treatment. Another important part of these vending machines is this QR code you see here that you can scan and it will connect a person to local resources for treatment. But Costello says a perfect uh, thing would be to to um, uh, for the epidemic uh, to be over to the point where we don't need these vending machines at all. Reporting live at Wayne State University, I'm Ray Strickland, CBS News Detroit. So important. Thank you, Ray. And you can find our Ray Strickland always working for you, telling your stories from Wayne County. He is working to get the answers you need in your community.